The Senate at plenary resolved to convene a national security summit in a bid to find lasting solutions to the nation's pressing security challenges. The summit is expected to provide a platform for heads of security agencies, governors, traditional rulers, social cultural groups, alongside civil society organizations to deliberate and seek solutions to escalating insecurity across the country. This was part of resolutions reached while deliberating on the killing of innocent citizens by alleged headsmen in some parts of Kogi State. Senator Issa Jibrin, representing Kogi East, drew the attention of his colleagues to the deadly attack in his constituency, which led to the loss of lives and properties. Armed heads, headers invaded the Agoji Judo, Ajopa Judo, Bagaji, and Bagana communities, killing 21 innocent citizens, including women and children, in addition to unprecedented destruction of their farm produce. Uh, alarmed that on 30th April 2024, Gunmen attacked a Jokwachiodo community in Omala local government area, killing no fewer than three persons and rendering the entire community desolate, with no health facility to cater for the uh, deteriorating health conditions of the survivors. Further alarmed that the attacks on these communities in Omala local government area have resulted in the killing of over 500 citizens, in addition to wanton destruction of public and private properties worth hundreds of millions of naira. Contributing to the debate, some senators who had their views lamented that continuous killings like these brings a feeling of hopelessness that nothing is being done by those in authority. If all the cattle you consume in the United Kingdom, you see them on the streets of the United Kingdom or England, nobody sees these things on the road. It's only here that we can stay and every morning Headers who invade a community, kill 30 persons, touch the houses, burn their properties, displace them, and we have no solution to it. Nigeria should be planning on how to put an end to this scourge of headers displacing people in their ancestral homes. What we owe these uh, people goes beyond rhetoric, go beyond condemnation, go beyond one minute silence, go beyond crying every day. No, our tears will solve this problem. I submit, sir, that we set up an hard committee, invite public hearing, let it be well publicized, let everybody come there and share with us what they know, enrich our limited knowledge of what is going on across the country, and let us find what's for us a lasting, sustainable solution. Today, as it is, the livestock industry is worth 30 trillion naira. In fact, some authorities will tell you it's 30 trillion naira in Nigeria. So this is a very important industry, and we cannot neglect it. While we deal with those who kill our people, we must be looking at the possibility, the necessity and imperative of making government, the federal government particularly, to see how to resuscitate the lives and livelihood of those who are willing to remain within the boundaries of the law. Ruling on the motion of the killing of innocent citizens in some parts of Kogi East, President of the Senate, Gatula Pabio, said the summit will be all-encompassing. The upper chamber consequently resolved to set up an ad hoc committee comprising one senator from each geopolitical zone to look at the matter holistically. With a view to convoking a national uh, summit to discuss the issues and take decisions therefrom. Uh, to guide the Senate in uh, establishing the necessary legislation that will bring an end to these clashes and killings. And uh, of course, you've seen that the whole thing is actually a national menace, and everybody is very concerned uh, across uh, all divides in the country. So the, you can see the totality of the voices here are also the voices of Nigerians speaking. The Senate, however, observed a minute silence in honor of those that were killed. Ibrahim. Additional prayer.